Apple is dead and you might not buy another iPhone after watching this. Steve Jobs changed the course of human history. I mean, look at what the iPhone did to society. And now Tim Cook brought us another slightly better one. In the Patrick Bet David podcast, he recommends the book After Steve and talks about how the company lost its innovative spirit and its sad replacement. You see, Steve Jobs was a genius. He didn't just make computers. Dell, Microsoft, IBM also did that. He didn't just make a music player. Sony did that as well. He didn't just make phones. Motorola, Nokia, and BlackBerry also made them. He made a laptop that can fit in an envelope, the first touchscreen smartphone, an iPod that had a thousand songs in your pocket. It's not about how much gigabytes of storage, but instead how many songs you can listen to on the bus. Users only care about the experience, and Steve made Apple a one-of-a-kind experience. But after his death, Apple changed. Apple lost its soul without him. Today, we get another iPhone that's slightly faster with a better camera and higher resolutions. So although Apple is making record profits, a part of it is dead forever.